You may have heard of the challenge hang for 100 seconds, win $100. How hard could it be? Well, it actually turns out it's pretty hard. But what if we could train for this challenge, not by changing our technique or cheating, but rather taking the brute straightforward approach. Hang training cumulatively for 1000 seconds every single day for an entire week. At the end of only one week, would our grip be stronger than ever before, allowing us to smash this challenge? Or would the overwhelming volume and frequency of hang training cause our body to break down, making us worse? That is exactly what I tried to find out on this one week journey, hanging for 1,000 seconds every single day for an entire week. But you gotta focus. I'm getting about 11 and a quarter. About 11 and a quarter too. Ready to do this, nothing to it but to do it. Let's go baby. All right, ready, steady, go. And I'm not gonna do hook grip, okay? I'm not like cheating my grip. I'm gonna have my thumbs to the side, okay? They're just touching my fingers. <laughs> uh, 80 seconds, oh man. Uh, all right, so I would have failed the hang for 100, get $100 challenge. Depending on the channel, I might have got a free pack of run gum though. <laughs> With that being said, we're gonna do the remainder of the 920 seconds, not here. We're actually gonna do this workout outside on a pull-up bar. We're gonna experience some weather, enjoy this workout. Let's go. I squeeze my hand, it's like I can't even like bend. Hands are feeling all right. They're, I mean, they're, it's a little, they've been callous, you know, from all the body weight stuff already, but just pure hanging, my gosh. That took 49 minutes, 50 seconds. <laughs> I, I honestly was not expecting it to take that long. I, that's, obviously I rested in between, like this isn't all hanging, you know, cause it's only a thousand seconds of hanging, but that's just the amount of rest I needed. So I tried to break it up into sets of 50, um, 50 seconds, but honestly towards the end there I had to do like subsets of those sets of 50 and do like 30 seconds plus 20 seconds Or like 25 plus 25 seconds. Let's go get some nutrition recover up. Let's go Taking my intro workout cocktail drink I just made here water and beetroot powder and we are going to the gym and I'm gonna do the 1,000 seconds of hanging at the gym today, all inside, just getting in the zone. Let's just do it, all right.
Oh yeah. So got done with the workout, tried to do 20 sets of 50 second holds on the bar. But towards the end when I was getting towards about 8 sets of 50 seconds left, I had to break up the 50 seconds into 25 seconds and then towards the very end I had to break it up even into just 10 second holds. My forearms, my hands, like everything is just like completely fried, like my hands are like sore. Holding on to the lawnmower, you know, to keep it going, it's it hurts kind of like it kind of hurts not bad not like real bad but it's it's sore you know what i'm saying i just hope that doing 1000 seconds every day is not just like driving me into the ground you know rather i hope it's gonna um eventually i'm gonna be able to adapt to this hopefully through good nutrition sleep you know proper recovery and then i'll be able to make some serious progress on my hang challenge at the very end of this uh this video all right guys we continue All right, good morning, folks. It is day three. Oh, it's tight. Oh! So it might be a struggle to knock out the 1,000 seconds today, but uh, it's pretty early right now, so I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna get to work. I, I should be fine on the computer. Oh, yeah. That yank. Hey, at the end of this one, we recover. I think we're gonna smash this. Smash this challenge, all right. So I've been out here for literally 57 minutes so far. I decided because literally these past couple of weeks have been absolute crap when it came to like anything organized training. And that's my fault obviously due to these challenges, it's my choice. But anyways, I wanted to like try to like throw something in today that's just like somewhat organized. So I decided to do the most basic bodyweight beast day ever. <laughs> day one, I tried to hit those intermediate reps on the day one goals right here But something I did when I went to the pull-ups, which was the second exercise I decided to count the pull-ups as hanging time. Yes, and then also when I was done with the pull-up set I would hang there for 50 seconds the remainder of 50 seconds and then just being out in the Sun that long it being so hot out here I was just like oh so I had to come in the shade and I finished up the rest of the Bodyweight Beast workout. If you guys are interested in my Bodyweight Beast training program, check out the link in the description. It's only $29.95 for a digital download just like this. If you want the hard copy, it's $49.95 plus shipping and handling. Tons of positive feedback on that. 500 more seconds, we can do this, okay? That's 10 sets of 50. Let's go! Just like grabbing the steering wheel like it feels ill I feel I feel like ill in my grip man like my forearms it's just like a sickening sore feeling 
Anyways, guys, that was pretty insane. That took a long time. I'm like sunburnt. Yeah, other than that, though, see you guys tomorrow. It is day four right now. I just got done hanging for 1,000 seconds. When I woke up, like my forearms, literally like right like here, just so sore. And I feel like that soreness and achingness is just like getting like worse and worse every single day. And it's causing me to like be able to hang for less amounts of time. I have to take more breaks. It's taking me way longer to finish. Um, you know from day one two and three so today what I decided to do I actually used some resistance bands to kind of take some weight off so that the hanging wouldn't be as Challenging, but I would still be hanging on for the amount of time All I'm saying is I'm hoping that it's gonna be easier enough so that I'll be able to recover for tomorrow because Yeah, the soreness is unreal and also I'm hoping that by using the resistance band today It will like train me into the mindset of being able to hold myself up there for like a longer duration So I got to look at this optimistically and also just hope and pray that tomorrow when I wake up like my my Forearms the soreness will, will go away. I didn't think this challenge would be this like challenging <laughs> So I'm keeping track, cause uh, yeah. Final set, final set. Oh, gosh. Ah. oh man, my fingertips are like white. All right guys, day five is done. Forearms feel like just nuts right now. Got it done in about 50 minutes. Anyways guys, I'm excited to try out a new protein powder today. Vegan protein, but Look at this, banana flavor. That should be interesting. Let's give it a whirl. One scoop is 21 grams of protein. Add some water. Let's give it a shake here. Holy moly. I am definitely surprised at how well that tastes without having any artificial sweeteners or any artificial flavors in there. Most like proteins that taste like, you know, this will either have a lot of sugar in it or have artificial sweeteners in there. And there's literally no added sugar in this. It's only sweetened with stevia. If you guys are interested in this protein powder or any other snap supplements, they have a wide variety of different supplements. Snapsupplements.com, use the code FOCUS at the checkout and you'll get 20% off your order. 20% off, that's pretty insane. Focus, baby, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Or you could literally just use the link I have in the description, it'll automatically apply the 20% discount across your entire order. Thumbs up on this banana vegan protein powder. You gotta like banana flavor, but honestly, thumbs up. Like, look it, I'm almost freaking done with this. All right, guys, with that being said, I'm gonna take the rest of the day easy, recover these forearms, and I'll see you all tomorrow. All right, good morning, guys. So it is day six. My forearms and hands are actually pretty sore, but not as sore as they were earlier in this week. We're actually going to the gym right now, and I think Logan's gonna be there. So we're gonna work out, but at the same time, I somehow have to get in a thousand seconds of hanging. I'm gonna try to do it at the gym. We're gonna see what we can do. Um, it's gonna be a long workout. All right. Yo, 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 what's yo, up? yo, yo. Okay. All right, let's stop doing that. So I'm gonna do a total of 500 seconds, then I'm gonna do Logan's leg workout, <laughs> and then I'm gonna knock out 500 more seconds. the same size if not bigger still not that big <laughs> all right i only got 500 seconds so i need 500 more all right ladies how do you do oh, not, good. not good at all oh it's like 100 out here so like i can't even like can't even like feel that like
like the calyx is like so thick. So I had a gym sesh with our friends. Uh, one thing is just crazy is the fact that all of my workouts this week, any training that I've done outside of hanging has been pretty, pretty terrible. Like honestly, very, very fatigued. Like just, just hanging, just isometrically hanging and doing that for a thousand seconds every day is like just fatiguing my body to the point so bad where like all of my other activity is just way subpar. Logan and I did some basic legs and like I was just like yawning and stuff the entire time. <laughs> On top of that, I've only hung so far for 500 seconds. So I need to complete 500 more seconds. I'll film it when I do. <laughs> other than that though, guys, head it home. Oh, let's take this off. Towel hang, change it up a bit. Oh my gosh, man. Ah, my hands are just so fatigued right now. I can't do that. Drop down to the floor. I think I'm just gonna do like literally 20 sets of 25. Yeah, 20 sets of 25 seconds. Oh man, my hands are like glass. Like when you compress sand or something. Thumbs up, baby. Just so you guys know, there's no funny business going on. <laughs> <laughs> that really works. All right, good morning, guys. It is day seven. <laughs> I'm ready to be done with this. And besides the one day where I did use the resistance bands the past couple of days, uh, like I haven't really gotten past 60 seconds. But I want to be able to beat 80 seconds when I test myself because... Like that's the whole point of this video, you know, so I think we I think by training myself to hold it longer It's gonna help me get in the mindset of holding the bar longer for when we finally do this test and just overall make me stronger You know mixing it up. So that's what we're doing for the first 250. Let's go. All right So I'm gonna go for a hundred seconds here for two sets There's a special kind of discipline you learn with just straight up hanging you have a set amount of time You're going for it starts to hurt you have 20 seconds left. You're like, you know what? I'll just drop and just be done with this right now. But then like a part of you is like, dude, 20 more seconds, that's all there is left. Just do it. And then you push through that pain, that discomfort, and every second that passes by, it's like worse and worse exponentially, but then you finally hit that mark. The satisfaction is unreal, you know? And you get this like rush of endorphins, and you get this feeling that you're not a quitter. And that's a good feeling. Seven thousand. Ah. All right. So I'm gonna rest up. Honestly, unlike last time, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna rest for at least 48 hours. So I'm not gonna do the test tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna do it maybe the next day. Maybe even the next day, depending on how I feel. I want to be fully recovered, allow all this stimulation, training stimulation to go to hopefully strength gains and strength endurance gains in the grip. Hopefully we smash the challenge. I will see you all in a second. For me, two to three days. All right. So I took two rest days since the last day of the challenge. I believe I'm fully recovered and I'm ready to hang. But first, let's take our post measurements. Still about 11 and a quarter, maybe a little more. About 11 and a quarter. No real change on the size of the forearms, but that's not the point of this video. The point was to see if we can increase our hang time. Let's find out. I'm nervous, man. All right, nothing to it, do it.
Man! So that is still an improvement of the test we did a week ago. That's 10 seconds. So that's an all-time PR on this bar right here because this bar does spin. With that being said, guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn those notifications on. I hope you're enjoying these challenge videos. Stay tuned. I have more challenges coming out, more videos coming out. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. I will see you all in the next video.